Seaborn is an advanced visualization library available in Python in addition to Pyplot. So actually the Seaborn is uh, constructed or developed on top of Matplotlib to support the advanced visualization concepts that we normally require like uh, 3D projections. right? So there are a lot many uh, type of charts that you can develop since uh, I have listed out a few which we will be normally using in machine learning algorithm. The line plot like in pi plot with a uh, different visualization like with an advanced visualization is supported. We have scatter plot, box plots. Box plots are more important to understand the outliers. Okay, So bar charts you can generate. You can have distribution charts. Pair plot. Pair plot is also more useful to uh, understand uh, the uh, impact of one feature towards the other feature. Then you can generate heat maps. Heat maps uh, in the sense uh, you can identify the relationship between the values or uh, the range of values using color combinations. Okay. As usual you have to use import statement and Seaborn is the package name and I am going to use uh, a variable called SB as the object for the Seaborn library. Uh, actually the Seaborn by default when it gets installed. Okay, how to install it if you are not using Anaconda as usual PIP space install space Seaborn. So if you have the internet connection it will get installed. So while installation itself uh, this uh, Seaborn will be installed with a set of data sets for you to use with. Okay. So in order to identify what are those data sets, you can just use this. Hmm. So first we'll uh, execute this block. Let's wait until the star gets over. Yes, it's done. So now if you execute this statement, it will try to fetch up all the default data sets that will be included as part of this Seaborn installation. Now I am going to use one of the default uh, data set that is provided in Seaborn, namely flights. So using um, this uh, data set, I am going to create a data frame. So the func method that is available for that is load underscore data set. So we don't know what are all the columns that is available in flights and hence I have used info in order to retrieve it. And then the first few lines, five lines I have printed. You can see the output here. It has uh, three um, columns. It is represented as year, month, and then the number of passengers traveled. And then uh, yes, uh, first five lines of the data set is what has been printed. Now let's move on for uh, drawing some of the charts. So here I tried to draw a scatter chart. All kind of charts you can draw. I have given some example for you. So this uh, plt dot scatter see so actually we are going to draw first uh, a chart using pi plot and then we'll show how to uh, draw the same chart using seaborn so in order to draw it using pi plot as usual you have to import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt just i'm drawing a scatter chart just i'm drawing a scatter chart uh, between the year and the number of passengers traveled so and then I am uh, just if we run we can see it is a scatter chart so it was ranging from 1949 I guess to 1960 and the number of passengers ranging from 100 to 600 okay so now uh, so in order to draw a line plot the uh, command or the method that is available in uh, Seaborn is there are different kinds of plots uh, so to name a few REL plot relational plot is what is available so same I'm going to we are going to draw uh, a graph between the year and the number of passengers here on the x-axis as usual passengers on the y-axis from where the data has to be taken it is from the data frame df1 okay so df1 is what we have created already you can see here the name of the data frame is df1 so what is the kind of chart that we want to create is the line chart okay so the month the hue that we want to represent on the graph is month so if we, if we execute you can understand better you can see okay so on the x-axis it is the years on the y-axis it is the passenger this is the hue okay so the hue is like how do you want the day 
data to be segregated okay so i want it to be segregated month wise so you can see the view see you can see the difference between how a uh, graph is being generated using pie plot and using this c1 it gives a better visualization and an impact for the users to understand the concept okay similarly here okay so here it is like see this is uh, all the uh, months data are shown on a same graph if you want to have uh, it on different graphs for per graph no uh, it is very uh, meager the because um, in the same row i am printing all 12 months graph you can segregate it using subplot concept and you can print okay so this is also one option you can uh, segregate according to a particular um, if you look at here uh, how this this shows how to draw a heat map right so heat maps first you'll execute and then i'll explain how it looks like then it's very easy to understand first what i did is i'm going to create a data frame using a random number right for that in order to create a random number i'm going to use the numpy package mm, so how what is the maximum value it is three so if i give four the system will uh, python interpreter will create values from 0 to 3 so what is the size of the data set i want two rows and five columns that's it okay so if you print so i have just have printed you can see a sample random numbers that is generated i have created an integer you can generate floating point also if you remove int it will generate a floating point for you i am creating a heat map out of it this uh, not is equal to 2 that is annotation it's uh, if you remove it I'll just execute without this. See, the values will not be printed on the graph. But if you include, the values will be printed on the graph. That's the difference. Okay. So now, uh, you, you see, now previously the values were different. Now, since it is a random number, it was different. Okay. What is a heat map? Now, you can understand better with this. So what this heat map will do, it will try to find out the list of values that is available, the range of values, the values start with 0 to 3. So it will create a few, okay, color coding from 0 to 3 varying from black to white. You can change this color, this is more towards a red color category. If you want a green color or blue color base, you can change by using the parameters, okay. So the row, how many rows we have created, it is 2. How many columns we have created, it is 5. Okay. So 2 rows, 5 columns. And what is the color coding that comes for the particular value will be specified here. Now, uh, here, uh, this is one another kind of plot, bar, bar chart uh, kind of thing. So for that, I am using one more uh, um, data set, inbuilt data set, which is TIPS. Again, we don't know what is the val features that it has and hence we have printed the information and then the head followed by a cat plot. I'll execute first and then we'll try to understand the type of data. So you can see uh, it is uh, a data set showing how much tips is being given to the servers that is available. Okay, that is there in a hotel. So the total bill tips, uh, what is the sex of the person? whether he is a smoker day or night time size so that's what is given so this cat plot when i give the kind as box okay so it will give you a box plot what is a box plot if you see it gives the range of all values that lies that, that is mostly lies towards the mean of the corresponding data set okay it takes each and every feature here um, when you look at the parameters that i have passed i have tried i am trying to draw a graph between sex so the sex will have values like male and female and the size okay so you look at this for male and female it will try to take all the datas and find its mean and how much is aligned towards the mean will be given by the box chart this is more useful always to find the outliers now if you look at most of the values are lying between this one and four only these two values are different and it lies outside which is uh, not relating to most of the values here okay 
and we'll see two more graphs uh, which is more important for machine learning purposes so this is a pair plot more uh, all the time we are in need to understand what uh, is the impact of one feature in your data set towards the other feature okay so that we can decide whether uh, to retain it or uh, what kind of relationship is there whether any linear relation is available or non linearity is there in the data set if it is linear what kind of linearity is there all these things has to be understood and it all can be defined using a single method called pair plot that is available in seaborn i am just going to draw a pair plot you see what is df1 df1 is nothing but a data frame created from the data set tips okay how many columns does it have total will tip and these things okay so it creates a pair plot among total will tip and then size it will consider only for numerical values that's why the other uh, non numeric value or that is categorical values are not coming see if you look at we can see this is uh, the, these datas are linear okay and uh, the di here if you look at these datas are linear datas and this is uh, optimally linear not too much linear and the diagonal it is in, it is to itself it is a bar chart okay plot and we will end up with one very important concept in machine learning correlation analysis okay correlation is always used to find out how one feature is creating an impact towards the other let's say if there is an increase in x whether there will be an increase in y or a decrease in y or if there is an increase in x is it not affecting anything or is it not going to give impact on about anything about y can we easily identified by using this correlation so um, just a simple method df1 will have the values so the correlation between each and every feature can be obtained using this cor corr method i am uh, the result of it will be stored in df3 okay now if you draw a heat map for df3 you can see see between this uh, features that are there in the df1 okay so you can see the correlation matrix so what we can understand is this total will feature is highly that is when there is an increase in total will tip is more okay and uh, there is no negative correlation or negative correlation in the sense when there are when there is an increase in total will if you say that always the tip is going down then we say it is a negative correlation this entire data set we could see it is only positive correlation right so these are uh, some of the plots that you can draw with seaborn since the course is not about uh, visualization alone i am stopping here but uh, uh, there is a lot more to learn on seaborn it's a much more a convenient package that is available for you for a better visualization thank you